So therefore, I want to invite Colonel Mohua, the first Minnesota USND Division Monglao American Veterans, to the podium to give a few words. Please welcome Colonel Mohua to the stage. United States National Defense Corporation. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before I will say a few words, I would like to invite Colonel Van Mang Lee, it's the, our first brigade coming to the podium. And second, I would like to invite Colonel Sam Fong Yang, who's a commander from uh, Major Joseph, come to the podium, please. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the great guest, friend, and our family member. I'm Colonel Moa. On behalf of the Minnesota 1st USAD Division, including Commander by Meng Li, first our brigade, and third, Colonel Se Hong Yang, Commander, first Massachusetts brigade. They would like to take this opportunity to welcome all of you coming to join us this celebration today. I know this time is very important. You spend time to join us today is a special day. So I we all take this opportunity to welcome all you coming today and also take this opportunity to thank you very much. Special, our member, USAND C from Iowa, from Massachusetts, including member in Minnesota. Also, other member, friend, Vietnamese, and Cambodian. You come to join us today too. It's, I'm very honored and I'm very happy for you coming to join us today for us to be a friendship and we work same pace, same duration. So we have to know each other. This was the first time for you coming to join us. Us maybe we join with the USAD from 2005 to today. That before we joined with USV in the United States National, United States Volunteer. But after that, we have a little switch change to 
United States National Defense Corps. The same art you see today, I hope as friends, as members, we will join together and support each other. So I'm including my two commanders and my left side and my right hand side. They are very happy and take this opportunity to thank you very much. Thank you. That was Colonel Moore who are open to remark. Once again, thank you, Colonel, for your speech. Ocho Koning Colonel Mohua Wakata Lamo Apila Ludo Bates Holling Soto Tia. This morning we have John Potter among us. Uh, this is an event that we have a general. Uh, in the house, but before uh, we ask the general to come and speak, I would like to welcome uh, the executive director of the Council of Asian Pacific Minnesotans, uh, Miss uh, Sia. Could you please come and uh, brief uh, us about uh, the general's uh, biography, please? Let's welcome Miss Sia. ตะกินาชันซาเปคุมะตะควาคิเซงจงโกลินไอคงฮาเรลิตัวเตียแต่ชิโอลินอนเดนดาเตียทอดเจอเนนาอ่าเนียเลยเตียตูนไซเซีย
often referred to as the Vietnam War. But for the SGUs, the war was not just in Vietnam. This war that we are talking about is the war that was based in Laos and Cambodia too. The war that for my generation has always been the elephant in the room. This war in Laos particularly was the cause of our coming, our as in the Hmong community, coming to America which for most in my generation has led to a better life, even if that seemed to be backward logic. This war is the cause of many family stories, both told and in most cases untold. And these untold stories are probably the most important stories. This morning, simply having you the guardians of such similar but uniquely different stories gathered together is significant. As a beneficiary of the unexpected consequences of the war in Southeast Asia, particularly the Hmong migration to America, I wish to again express the pride that my generation has and the sacrifices that our elders, our warriors, and by that I mean those of you sitting here in uniform, made in the sacrifices that you made in those confusing times. I look forward to hearing from General Potter and the rest of this morning's speakers. Your stories have to become our stories. With that said, please join me in welcoming General Joe Potter to the stage. It is my honor to be here today and welcome all of the guests, distinguished guests, supporting members of the USNDC, and especially my honor to welcome the first Minnesota division of the USNDC. I also see Colonel Kong out there from our Khmer division who is supporting us, who fought alongside of us in the long Vietnam War. So many sacrifices, but we all fought for unity and for freedom and democracy. And today we see that in our children, the opportunities and the education that they have received. I also recognize Many of the elders have children and grandchildren who have joined the active duty of the United States. Another great honor and contribution of our Asian allies. There are many that are not with us today because they have sacrificed on the field of battle. They, many of their sons and daughters, wives, and others who have sacrificed, ultimate sacrifice, to make sure that their children and grandchildren can enjoy the freedom and democracy of the United States. So for a moment, I would like us to stand and remember those that we have lost in war. So if we can stand and just take a moment of silence.
I don't think that I can stand with our, my Laomong brothers and sisters without mentioning General Bang Pao. General Bang Pao was the father of the Hmong people. I had the honor of being his personal advisor for a number of years. We had a close friendship. I knew his family and spent many hours with him, as I did with Colonel Big Bill Lair, that many of you know. Between the two of them, they had a vision of the Wong people having, finally, the democracy and freedoms and opportunities that we enjoy today. It is because of them that we are here today. And so we have a new country. And this country, my ancestors go back to General George Washington. They fought, as you did, for freedom and democracy. They were led by General George Washington, whereas you were led by General Bang Pao. And so to me, you are like my ancestors who fought for General George Washington, and to me are just as equal and new as new Americans. You bring your talents, your skills, your knowledge, and your experience to the United States, which makes us even stronger. And that's why I'm part of our mission in the USNDC, the United States National Defense Corps, is to protect our country and to provide honors to our veterans. Nothing more. It doesn't matter if you belong to this party or that party or this religion or that religion. It doesn't matter what gender you are, whether you are a woman or a man. We are all equal brothers and sisters. And is it in that spirit that I welcome the first Minnesota USNDC Brigade? or division under Colonel Moore, the commander. It is a high honor to work with Colonel Moore again. We worked together for several years in another organization, the United States Volunteers. And we had the same mission, and that is to be united as brothers and sisters with the very same patriotic duty to serve our country, protect it, and to honor our veterans. For myself, I am working hard with Congress to bring national recognition, honors, and some VA benefits to our Asian allies, which include the Leo Mong, as to you, the Royal Laotian Armed Forces, the Khmer, our Cambodian brothers and sisters, the Montagnard, Thai, Koreans, many of those that came with the aid of the United States that suddenly You were abandoned. I am ashamed that you were abandoned almost 38 years ago. And that's why I had made it my mission as a Vietnam veteran to make sure that you receive the honors and the distinguished memories that you deserve, that we fought for side by side as brothers and sisters in blood. 
and to recognize that we are equal. So, I give you my personal thanks. I ask you for your assistance and your help and support and loyalty. And I will do everything I can to make sure that that comes about as we do our duty in the United States National Defense Corps. I want to thank everyone who is attending today and those who could not attend. Please spread the word. Tell your friends that they are more than welcome to join us, to serve us in any way, to help us, to reunite together. Because that is the strength of the United States. We are all from other countries. We have different generations. But it is because of that unity, that strength, that we have even more power. And so I look to you to be a part of our great country and to give our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren and future generations all of the opportunities and freedoms that we fought for together. And now we must look forward to success, to happiness, and remember the sacrifices that were made by our relatives, our ancestors, and those that came before us to bring us that special freedom and democracy that we enjoy today. And those that serve in the United States Defense Forces today that continue to support those freedoms that we fought for. And we are very, very proud of them. And we support them every bit of the way. We are patriots and we can be examples and we can be inspiration to them. Because when they look at you, they say, you led the way. You are the example that I am trying to live up to. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.